Welcome to Deep Tips. In today's video, I'll explain exponent and powers from grade 8. So let's begin. If we take a number 2 raised to power 3, here 2 is the base and 3 is the power. So we call it 2 raised to the power 3. If you want to solve it, how many times you will write 2? 3 times because power is 3. So 2 will be multiplied by itself 3 times. So 2 into 2, 4 into 2, 8. So 2 raised to power 3 is equals to 8. This is the basic question based on exponents. If I say 5 raised to the power 4. So what is the base here? Base is 5. And what is the exponent or power? That is 4. So if you want to solve it, how many times you will multiply 5 by itself? 4 times. So whatever is the four power, that many times you need to multiply the base. So 5 raised to the 4 is equals to 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. So you can multiply it and you will get the answer. Now we will discuss the laws of exponents. Here base is a and power is m. So a raised per m divided by a raised per n. So here base is same and they are getting divided. So what will happen to the powers? They will get subtracted. So a raised per m minus n. So if we take one example, 5 raised per 7 upon 5 raised per 3, right? Here base is same. I have taken A as 5 and M 7, base 5 and N 3. So when base is same and they are getting divided, then powers get subtracted. So here 5 raised power 7 minus 3, so which is equals to 5 raised power 4. This is the first law of exponents. Now, second law is a raised per m, then brackets raised per n. In this case, m and n are the powers which will get multiplied. So, a raised per m into n. Let us take one example. 2 raised per 3 raised per 2. So, 2 raised per 3 into 2, 6. So this is the answer. This is your second law. In third law, a raised per m into b raised per m. So here you should not get confused. Here powers are same but base is different. Because in first case base is a and then multiplied by base b. But powers are same. So you can write it as a b whole raised per m. Right? So that means if I say 2 raised per 3 into 3 raised per 3. Right? So a I have taken as 2 raised per 3. m is 3. Into b I have taken 3. m is 3. So according to the law a and b should get multiplied. So 2 into 3 is 6, right? Hold the power m. So here m is 3, so 6 raised power 3. Further, you know how to solve. I have already explained it. That 6 should be multiplied how many times? 3 times because power is 3. Fourth law says a raised power 0. Its value is always equals to 1. In my next video, I will explain you the logic behind 
y a raised per 0 is 1. So, this is your fourth law. Fifth law is a raised per m upon b raised per m. In this also, if you see, I have already done first law based on division where base was same. But if you see in fifth law, base is different. In numerator base is a and in denominator base is b and the power is same. <clears throat> so what we did in multiplication, we multiplied the bases and we took the power common same ways we will do a by b whole raised power m. So this is your fifth law. Okay. So we will take one example. If I take 5 raised power 3 upon 6 raised power 3. Right. So what we will do? 5 by 6 whole raised power 3. This is how we solve the fifth law. There is one more law, sixth law, a raised per m into a raised per n. Here base is same and they are getting multiplied but powers are different. So in this case, powers will get added. So if, if we take one example, 2 raised per 3 into 2 raised per 2. If you see, I have taken a as 2 and powers are different in both the cases. m is 3 and n is 2. So what we will do? We will add the powers. 2 raised per 3 plus 2 which is equals to 2 raised per 5. So we know how to solve it. Whatever is the power that many times we need to multiply the Base. I hope you are clear with exponents and powers and their laws. In my next video, I will explain you fourth law a raised per 0 equals to 1. Why it is 1? The logic behind it. So keep watching Deep Tips. Thank you.